Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this episode, I'm going to be talking about the innervations of the arm muscle. So we're talking about the muscles in the arm. Let's get right into it. Uh, when it comes to the innervations of the muscles in the arm, uh, there are only two nerves that we need to be concerned with. R remember, I'm not dealing with the forearm, just the arm. And those two nerves are the musculocutaneous nerve. And you can see that here. This is the, uh, it comes from the lateral branch of the lateral cord, the musculocutaneous nerve, and the radial nerve. And you can see the radial nerve right here. That is the medial branch of the posterior cord. So those are the two nerves that we are concerned with, uh, with the arm muscles. They're going to innervate all the muscles in the arm. So let's look at the muscles in the arm. Now, I don't know if you ever noticed before, but uh, when you go to the gym, there's always a guy there or maybe more than one guy that really wants to, you know, show how muscular that person is, that guy is. So he'd stand in the mirror and he'd flex his arms. You know, he'd be saying that he's flexing his bi biceps. And um, <laughs> this, these are the muscles that guys really flexed. To say, you know what, I am strong. I have big muscle muscle muscles. Sorry, um, and this are these are going to be the flexor muscles of the arm, and those are innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve. And you know that's the way I want you to remember it. Musculo, so very muscular. The guys in the gym thinking they are very muscular, looking in the mirror, flexing their arms. Uh, those are innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve. So those muscles would be, what are the flexor muscles in the arm? We have, of course, the bicep, the biceps brachii. These are the ones that we talk about a lot. And then we have the brachialis. That's going to be right beneath the, the biceps brachii. And then we have coracobrachialis. Okay, so coracobrachialis, biceps brachii, and the brachialis muscles, those are all innervated by that musculocutaneous nerve, which is the lateral branch coming from the lateral cord. So that's on one end. And then, of course, when I used to work out, I used to work out with a partner that used to keep telling me, if you want your arms to look big, yes, biceps are great, but really, you want if you want them to look really great, uh, you want to work on your triceps, all right? So that's these um, extensor muscles, the triceps, right? Um, so if you want your arm, this is how I want you to remember this. If you want your arm to look really radical or radial, <laughs> I don't know if that works, but if you want it to look really awesome, really radial, you got to work on those triceps. So the radial nerve that's going to innervate the triceps muscles. And you can see those here. Here we have the triceps, the lateral head, uh, the, and the long head. Of course, you're not seeing the medial head. Um, but that, those, that the triceps are innervated by this radial nerve, which is the medial branch of the posterior cord. So in review, this is a very short one. There's not much to learn here. Um, when it comes to the flexor muscles, the coracobrachialis, the biceps brachii, and the brachialis muscles, those are innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve. And then the triceps, the triceps brachii are innervated by the radial nerve. That's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to click on the like button right beneath if you're on YouTube. And you can subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button above. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. Of course, make sure to visit the website, interactive-biology.com for more biology videos and other resources to help make biology fun. So this is Leslie Samuel, and I'll see you in the next one.